to the new year and to our program. We the People Speak are excited to bring many new events on how the community is taking action on their political role. Sharing these stories, we're happy to bring them to you. No hate, no fear. No fascist new year. Donald Trump? Hell no. Mike Pence? Hell no. Fascism? Hell no. Fascism? Hell no. Donald Trump? Hell no. Mike Pence? Hell no. Fascism? Hell no. Three. Members from the Bay Area gathered to bring in the new year with a strike against Trump's upcoming reign. The event held speakers from community members and organizers to help bring awareness to the public about Trump's unpredictable politics and how it could negatively affect our country. But us, but us and the millions of people just like us that don't want to live in the world that Trump wants to create, that don't want to live in a fascist America, that don't want to live in a world where we can be threatened with nuclear holocaust at any time, that don't want to live in a society, in a world that appoints a neo-Nazi anti-Semite to be his chief strategist, that don't want to live in a world where you have a vice president that wants to take away women's basic and fundamental right to decide what she's going to do with her own body, when or if she's going to have kids. We're going to put our bodies on the line to stop it. That's what you do when there is a fascist in the White House. You put your body on the line to stop it. What would we, we all have to ask ourselves what we would have done. Tonight, if you can hear us, come join us. Come join us. This is for everybody. This is for everyone. I can't think of anywhere else I would rather be. I come here as a grandchild of a Holocaust survivor, and the idea behind it is that it was never again for anybody. That's for anybody! You don't have to be an activist, you don't have to feel comfortable talking on the speaker, but you know what? People need to hear why you are here. People need to hear that there are millions of people who are terrified at this pig, at this Trump regime taking power. And we will not allow it to happen. Just today it was announced there was a judge in Texas who decided he was going to not allow transgender people and women from getting health coverage through Obamacare. So we're already seeing this in motion. These people are trying to murder us. They're trying to murder us. And so what are we gonna do about it? We're gonna fight back, that's right. He had family that was burned alive in Hiroshima. And then he said about Trump's threats to put, put together a national registry for the Muslims. He, he and his family had been in the internment camps for the Japanese during World War II. He knows what it's like when a whole people are criminalized and vilified. And he said over his dead body, we're gonna, they're going to build those camps. Hey, what do you think of Trump's tweets? Really presidential? Oh, yeah. Uh, really well thought out? Really safe? It would be the worst thing ever if World War III starts over a tweet. Literally less than 24 hours after Donald Trump was elected for president, there were cops driving around on my block on 6th Street in a truck. And they were throwing away anything that belonged to any person that lived on the street. People that were forced into poverty for whatever reason and have nothing better to do than sit on the sidewalk for some kind of safety in community. They were throwing away their tents, their backpacks, their food, their wheelchairs. And one name that I haven't heard tonight is Betsy DeVos who's the secret new secretary of education another billionaire in the cabinet her brother is the founder of blackwater her husband is the amway is an the amway heir she's never she has no credentialing whatsoever she's never been to a public school she's never sent her own children to public school her agenda is to privatize. Come up here and just let the world know you ain't down with this. That you say no to Trump, no to fascist America, no to everything they stand for. That's what we're here for. And there's going to be thousands of people here tonight. And believe me, they're going to know we were here. I just want to say that I'm here because democracy is a participatory form of government. And if we don't want fascism, we have to participate. I just see many things that are, I mean, throughout the campaign and up to now, I've 
after the election have, have they just worry me really a lot and um, main I'm a union member and I enjoy a very good life because of being in the union and I know that the right to work um, is one of the Trump administration's um, goals is to promote the right to work which eliminates unions and without a union I know personally I wouldn't have the the life that I have which is pretty good community members gathered in the women's building in support of the Women's March San Francisco taking place on January 21st to stand up and rally for human rights, civil liberties, and justice for all. But we don't want the pipeline rerouted. We want the pipeline stopped altogether. So the struggle is far from over. We know that the attacks coming from a Trump administration will jeopardize this victory which I'll mention here briefly in a second. But this victory is one that we should celebrate and cherish. Since April of last year at Standing Rock, we have seen a historic indigenous fight back. Under the banner of Miniwachoni, Water is Life in Lakota, over 600 indigenous nations and thousands of non-native people joined together with the Standing Rock Sioux, the Hunkpapa Lakota, to stop the construction of the Dakota Access Pipeline. The use of the capitalist state to protect corporate profits instead of its ordinary citizens couldn't have been more openly on display these last few months. Black men and youth, low-income people, especially those with disabilities and serious health concerns, transgender and gender non-conforming to attack by their neighbors and their legislators. We, yes, and at too great cost to sit idly by and watch the progress we've made over decades be dismantled in a matter of years.
What about you? Same. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think our, our rights as women are at stake and we wanted to do something about that rather than just complaining. And I think it's also important that people who are privileged enough to come here and stand up for those who don't have rights should do so if they have the opportunity. It's the Good. least we could do. Yeah. And what about you? Uh, I just think it's important to be here because it just proves that no matter where you're coming from, how much money you make, um, what culture you come from, we can all unify in one belief that we all need equal rights and to just respect and love one another. Last Saturday, La Peña held a tribute to Cuba and to the legacy of the historic leader of Cuban Revolution, Fidel. This event held music, poetry, MC, and speakers that brought 300 people to Berkeley to commemorate. <laughs>